Hi, Three Most Guys. Welcome back. I was going to sit down and make a more kind of, you know, well thought out video, but this is on my mind right now, so I'm going to get it out there. I think a lot of guys are struggling these days with their self image and their persona. Maybe you feel like you're kind of a pushover or a nice guy. People are not taking you seriously. Women are not giving you any attention. And I think that we need to talk about three things that are crucial to just having this self confidence, this image, um, and, and something that's given off strength and warmth rather than weakness and a sort of peasant weak uh, energy. You know, you want to have an aura about you. So here's three things that are going to help you with that persona. And then if you're lacking in them, you just fix them and you'll notice that life gets better. First off, it's your posture. If you're going throughout your day, your head's down, your shoulders are rounded, your back's rounded, you're tight in the hips it's going to give off this this feeling of weakness. Like, like you're going to be perceived as weaker, more reclusive, possibly brooding, and even introverted, which is not a bad thing, and maybe you are, but if you really wanna be seen like this, people are not gonna respect you so much because it's hard to respect someone else that seems to not even respect himself. Now think about it, if you have this this hunched overness, this sort of closedness for life and for receiving the energy from other people, people aren't going to give it to you. They, they just won't. Like, you look like a wounded dog. You look like a subordinate. You're walking around like a peasant with his head down. And, and it just gives all this feeling of gloom. And so as you begin to unbend the spine, as you begin to have this sort of ambition in yourself, you're naturally going to stand more upright. You know, part of this, this sort of, our physiology is impacted by our psychology. And so if you have these limited beliefs, maybe you're thinking, I, I can't do these things. I can't fulfill my dreams. I can't get the girl of my dreams. I can't switch my career path. You know, I can't uh, raise a family. I can't build a business. Like it's going to show up in how you carry yourself throughout the world. And so you begin to get rid of these limiting beliefs and this, this, you know, you start to do the stretches that I recommend yesterday. Do those three movements. They're going to correct all this stuff. So that's the main thing, your posture. Yukio Mishima in Sun and Steel that some truths can only be realized by the unbending of one's spine. Okay? So you want to greet the world with your head level-headed and uh, open, ready to receive, ready to perceive. You know, that's high thumos, the ability to be recognized, not hiding and cowering away from the world. The next thing is your voice. You know, a subordinate voice speaking in this sort of monotone, not from the belly, not with any vigor at all, is, uh, it seems passive and no one's gonna listen to you. You know, we have a lot of voices being pumped out in, into our head all day. No one's gonna listen to the guy that just talks with zero passion or ambition or, or uh, you know, n n not just like this weak, hi, how you doing, monotone, how are you, yeah, kind of, you have this like anxiety in your voice, you're afraid of everyone, you gotta, you gotta speak, like you mean it, dude, like from your balls, you know, you gotta summon that little, that demon and let it come out of you, okay, and that's, that's huge, you know, you don't want to just, I'm not saying deep in your voice. Like you don't need to be like, yes, my voice is so deep. No, you don't want to deepen your voice, but you want to speak. You want to speak like you mean it with intention, with purpose, okay? The next thing is uh, you want to learn to relax, okay? And you, you really want to learn to relax your being. Many of us are overstimulated these days and overstimulation will show up in your face. Overstimulation will show up in your, uh, you, I believe it's called your physiognomy. Your physiognomy is, is the face and how it can tell you about a person. And you'll notice that a lot of people these days have this face of like they're tense. There's anxiety in the body and it shows up in the face. There's this tenseness. There's this rumination. There's a furrowing of the brow there's um you know like 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 they're stressed it looks like someone's always under stress and it, if you think about it when you're constantly overstimulated by media social media 
one thing I recommend is getting rid of Instagram. I think that's the first way to escaping the matrix. Seriously, you, you we're paying attention to too many people at once. People that we don't care about. We're trying to impress those people. We're looking at their lives. We don't even know their name, but we're you know we're still paying attention to them. And uh, <clears throat> it, it's stressing us out. This novelty, this constant something new, this newness, new woman. New, uh, you know, you watch prawn whenever you want TikTok. You're you're on social, you're on Instagram's search, and uh, you're constantly getting fed so much new stuff. And novelty actually can stress you out. New music, always something new to listen to, something new to to absorb and take in. You're constantly consuming novelty, and the human didn't evolve with all of these novel stimuli in his environment. You know, we, we you have your tribe, you have maybe an animal that runs by and if it's a tiger then you freak out and that that's when you your fight or flight goes off but a lot of us are stuck in this fight or flight within our core within our being and it's showing up on our face it's making us rigid it's tearing down our posture it's making us talk without passion and purpose and so you really you want to get on this man you want to get on this purpose driven life where you're you know you have ambition you stand for something you're blocking out the distractions your life has meaning okay and um, just a few things to be aware of you fix these things and you will notice your life is just better people will treat you better you'll get the respect and life will start making sense hope you guys enjoyed this video have a great day peace